Um, let's uh, let's go back to um, to uh, talking about uh, you know uh, Joe Biden had a um, a speech the other day talking about um, voting rights, and we know we know that the Supreme Court rolled back voting protections under the Voting Rights Act. And in fact, even some states who responded to that rollback were stopped, not they didn't no longer had to have preclearance, were stopped because their uh, new redistricting was racist. Um, others, it's much harder to prove. And uh, so we know the implications of, of rolling back the Voting Rights Act. Yet, to talk about that, it is amazing how successful the Republicans are at filling a vacuum and at um, at uh, really some type of jujitsu. Here's uh, Tucker Carlson. It's clip number four. Um, talking about uh, the first year of the Biden-Harris administration and um, Biden's um, response uh, or, or addressing the question of voting rights. So Biden's a full year into his presidency as of today. He's not doing well. He knows that. So he's going full insurrectionist. He's questioning the legitimacy of the upcoming midterms. He wants to stop the steal. <laughs> Here he was at his press conference yesterday, sowing doubts about our democracy. Speaking of voting rights legislation, if this isn't passed, do you still believe the upcoming election will be fairly conducted and its results will be legitimate? Well, it all depends on... Uh whether or not we're able to make the case to the American people that some of this is being set up to try to alter the outcome of the election. Kamala Harris asked about this today, too. We're not going to show you the clip. You can look it up. It turns out she's an election truther, too. She doesn't think it's on the level. She thinks elections are being stolen. That's kind of a common view in Congress. Here's Jim Clyburn from South Carolina. Are you concerned? that without these voting rights bills, the election results won't be legitimate? I'm absolutely concerned about that. Questioning the legitimacy of our election, doing the bidding of Putin, where's Liz Cheney? She is always on the hunt for insurrectionists undermining democracy. I mean, you know, this is, it's just hanging out there, and that is the problem with, with you know, failing to get this stuff through the Senate. Uh, it is the failure of of Democrats to have passed this stuff, you know, when they had the the opportunities. Um, I don't really know, actually, if they had the majorities um, uh, since the voting rights had been struck down where they could do that. But um, uh, the the Republicans are good at this. They are good at, um, at, at you know, filling these vacuums. Um, Muddying the waters by claiming hypocrisy so that the entire conversation, which Real, in the only legitimate side is the one on the Democrat side here in terms of expanding voting protections. Then it makes it all seem, you know, like, well, he at least it makes it that right. the Demo Sorry. He said, she said, and it just right, makes right. it like it's like a, it's like just a political football all of a sudden. I mean, I don't know why Tucker's so dismissive, because I mean, I just listened to a guy like that say, in case you haven't noticed, it's hard to trust anything you hear right now. We've heard you. We're grateful that you trust us. And we that, that's what he said after Trump uh, lost the election. And Tucker couldn't be just clear about that. Mm. Um, so it's interesting what uh, concerns about election integrity are ones you need to, like, put on your serious face and, like, look, look very concerned about and which are just you just chuckle about. Um, I mean, this is a, you know, I, I, I it is a problem. I, I can understand the deployment of this rhetoric to get people out to vote, to be use it as a get out the vote um, um, uh, issue. I just don't understand, you know, Biden's deployment of it. Like at one point, like how does he not have a sense? of what Manchin is willing or not willing to do at this point. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, it is really, really frustrating and stunning. There seems um, to be inc very little coordination and strategy. It, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing. And, and I will say this, that, you know, you know, you see the polling that is out there. Um, I, I brought this up before where, 
you know, uh, people want uh, the Biden administration to deal with inflation as, a, as opposed to passing the bill back better. And, um, and, and that is just a failure of, of letting people know what's in it and, and a failure of capturing the momentum in the moment where you, ha- you know, like striking while the iron is hot, thinking that bipartisanship has any value to any cohort of voters out there. Um, they have just left themselves completely. They have, they, they have been neither fish nor fowl. And everything that's happening with the January 6th uh, uh, committee and, and, and all of these, um, these uh, attacks on Trump, they may be more effective, you know, in uh, 2023. But the problem is you're not going to have the, the House at that point. And you have not shored up your own base. Mm-hmm. So you're going to get criticism from people who wanted you to do stuff that you had promised during the campaign. And, you know, I don't think I, I, I was always of the mind that the Build Back Better is not going to get them any new voters, but it was going to keep, you know, uh, it, it was going to be promises met to their base of, of voters. And um, and then you go forward with making, you know, running against Donald Trump. But it's very hard to run against Donald Trump if you have not been able to achieve the signature, someone said it right here, like slogan that you have been pursuing, which is build back better. It's so frustrating.